What is up guys, Express Design here and I'm back with another tutorial. So this banner, uh, I made a speed out of it, I, I liked it, I thought it was going in different style and I was like thinking maybe I should make a tutorial on how I did the text. Yeah, let's make um, this 3D text kind of um, from, uh, from new, from the beginning. Let's make a new document or a new page, uh, you can make a header, you can make a YouTube header with it, whatever you want. I'm just gonna make a 1080 document just uh, because I'm just making a text, I'm not making a banner. Just fill the background in white, whatever you want. Uh, take your text tool and type a name that you like. I kind of don't like the S's, uh, I don't know why, it's just I don't like it. But um, you can find whatever font you want. I'll put this font in the description. Uh, I'll edit it so the X doesn't come out of that okay so the first thing you want to do is just copy the layer and you want to give the first one a nice color uh, color that you want I'll pick now the, the the yellow that I did but you can do whatever color you want with it and also the second uh, copied layer also given color but another color uh, like I did pink maybe we do a reddish this time Red-ish pink, uh, and you just move it down a bit. See, just like you don't see this, you still don't see the white parts. Just have to make sure everything is full. Like you can fill this up easily, but um, yeah, something like this. Make a new layer between those two layers, and you take your brush tool, make it around ten. Yeah, maybe ten. Put the hardness on hundred percent. Take the same color you have as the text as the lower text and you try to make this look nice like this you see that it's filled in you can also do it with the pen tool that's also an option but i think it's quite it's faster with this and i'll show you how you do it with your pen tool you do it's basically the same thing but we have a part you have a part around here and you just go like that and you fill that in with a color uh that's not the right color color that same color and you have the same result f as you would brush it in it's just faster in my opinion if you want to do it like that you can also just pen tool it in it's uh, it's preference i guess Everything is filled in, looks nice. I think it looks nice. Now you want to give it some shadows and now you have to look for a, light, a lightning spot that you want. I'll probably go uh, do the same thing that I did the previous time. Just It goes from above and the light comes from above. So you make a new layer between everything you have. And go with black. Take your brush, put the hardness back on zero. Make a brush around. Yeah. You press Alt and you created clipping mask on the text and we start um, giving it shadow giving it a little, little shadow if you think this doesn't fit in you just erase, take your eraser tool because the light comes from above you just take it just there you go I'll make my brush a bit smaller because this is a bit more difficult at this side Just preference as well like what do you think looks nice because that is that 3d effect that's kind of pops out also a bit at the bottom but don't don't too much on the bottom there you go i think this is a bit too dark my opinion i'll remove this 
and make sure that is on a little bit layer like that and now we erase this there you go i think that looks quite nice now we just put the opacity down maybe around 50 the other one also at 50 there you go it's not too hard but still visible text that is above you make sure it's a normal layer what i just did is i just make the new layer select both of them and merge them that's just easier in my opinion if you put a clipping mask on top of that top of the first one and you just pen tool like in the middle that's not really in the middle like that you pen tool this and you fill this in with a like uh, yellow with but uh, one that is not that bright like something like this so you see two different size sides and just put your opacity a bit down there you go now what i want to do is merge everything so we duplicate first and then we merge everything together put that on the bottom and you put the opacity down and put a stroke on it now now you put a stroke on it make the stroke around 10 ish uh, and you can choose whatever color you want at the outside but take something that fits previous time i put like um, kind of uh, pinkish purplish kind of yeah kind of like this pinkish again it's, it's the same theme it's just a different pink and you make a new layer blow everything and you fill in the little holes like these holes you fill that in there you go so you don't have random white holes in it sometimes it looks good it sometimes it doesn't it's it's your opinion uh okay what we, what we want to do now is make so that that is the old stroke that's okay you can merge those those two layers those bottom ones that the, the layer that you filled in the holes and the layer that is the stroke so now we want to do is where is this yeah this one you put another clipping mask on that and you take like a darker like a darker color but not a dark color <laughs> A darker red and just fill in the bottom the bottom ones you fill that in like that I think no no and yeah you merge everything what you just did you copy everything that you just did and merged everything together the layer that you just copied you make you you make it white I'll make the background a bit more a bit grayish and you just move a little bit not too much just for a little effect just move it a little bit to the left or yeah, a bit to the left. Okay, uh, make it a normal layer. You can just click it by rasterize layer style. And you erase the, the bottom parts. There you go. Now, uh, I also made a, uh, a little star effect on top of everything. I'll show you how I did that. I made my brush. I took my brush. I took white and I just clicked once. Then I control T my uh, my brush and I just hold in shift if it's the new Photoshop and you just make it small. There you go. Then you take that, you duplicate that and you turn that around. Then you take your brush again, make it a bit more smaller, like around 100, 150. And then just dot, make a dot like that. And then merge those three layers, make it a bit smaller because it doesn't fit quite well. Um, where does this you can put this wherever you want put it on the X there you go and you have a nice text I think that's quite nice uh, what I did is also put some Japanese text on the bottom and what I just did is with the, with the bottom with the bottom text I just um, made a stroke uh, I'll just yeah take the same color not too big I took a color overlay as well. I put a, that yellowish, uh, and I put an outer glow, an outer glow for uh, just white. I think I took yeah white. Put the size a whole lot down. The opacity a bit bigger. Spread, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I took something like that, and uh, there you go above everything you have you can put a hue and saturation and you can change the color a bit 
maybe a color that you like maybe this is what you like uh, what I also like to do with a lot of designs just something like this you take your brush put it on black and just have a little stripe and then put your opacity of the hue and saturation bit down and you have two different colors scheme uh, as well and there's also something you can do and you're like oh maybe this color is not popping yet then you go to your um, uh, brightness and contrast and you put um, contrast a bit up and think that oh this is more popping it's also not, not, not enough that it pops out go to your vibrance and put your vibrance up and your saturation also up and then normally this this do, do, this will do the trick and will, will let your text pop out i don't like it when they are the same color your text so I, i'll probably use this and with this it doesn't need to be so vibrant uh so vibe yeah i hope this did help you guys and i really appreciate all the subscribers and all the likes that in these past weeks like i've been this has really made my fucking year actually uh like i now i guess we're going for the 200 subscribers and yeah i'll maybe do a live stream of how i make my banners if you want to see something or you want a tutorial or something uh, let me know in the comments down below like what you want to learn or what kind of style what of kind of my one of my banners you would think oh i want to learn how he made that just let me know let me know what you want to see in the in the future and what kind of tutorial or maybe something else you want to see from me so yeah thank you guys for watching this tutorial see you guys in the next one peace